understand that one man should not hold your happiness and he can't make you happy clearly, clearly. That's your job. But don't come over to OPR and think that we won't return any kind of hate or fire, or whatever you have for us. If you're going to come and sneak into our DMs, try to leave your mess instead of cleaning it up and try to dump it off on us as though we have any power to do anything within your marriage. Assalamu alaikum, peace. It's Fatima, Coach Fatima, one third of Outstanding Personal Relationships and co author of the new book, Let's Talk Polygyny Uncensored. Now, this video, um, I want to address a comment that we actually got about um, OPR being responsible for the destruction of a relationship. Okay, you guys ready? So, Zoe Bomb back, or whatever it is. She goes on to write, after writing some, probably some other things on our socials, since finding you guys, my husband wants to find another wife. When he got, when we got married, we agreed to be monogamous and he was already Muslim, but wasn't curious about it like he is now. Thanks to you guys, we will more likely get divorced. <laughs> I can't handle this poly relationship stuff, but I know you guys don't care. Just thought you should know. <laughs> Your page isn't just helping people. It's also tearing apart relationships. Thank you for showing me his true colors and that no one can actually love one person. Okay. I wanted to address this and uh, she got a, a, a response from us and she said, you guys are a complete joke. Uh, sounds like the joke is on you, sis, because um, one thing that OPR does not have the power to do is destroy someone else's marriage or relationship. That thing was probably a sinking ship before you ever found us. And to have such an inflammatory ac accusation and uh, speak venomous words to us because your husband probably already was thinking of polygyny and because he found us is actually a value to your relationship not to tear it apart because that's not our goal. Uh, your goal, what it, which it appears to be, is try to uh, disrupt our joy and our peace, which that's impossible. Um, because one thing OPR is not is, is we're not a joke. Uh, what we do is try to bring families together, not tear them apart. This work is honorable work because we're holding people accountable and saying, look, if you want to have more than one wife, place honor on women. Don't dishonor women by sleeping around and having all these different side chicks, jump downs, uh, bed buddies, um, friends with benefits, whatever the case may be. So this DM, it's funny that this person took time out of their day to DM us, thank us, and then try to laugh at us like we care. We don't care, huh? We don't. Because we're going to keep doing this work and we're going to keep doing our best to provide value in the, 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 er the areas of marriage and especially marriage and polygyny. Because so many people get these dumb um, DMs and these people that come on different platforms where we're trying to help and not hurt others and try to offer some understanding try to share best practices for best results. Now, maybe the man that you married is a specific kind of way, but to try to dishonor our, our family, and I'm gonna say our because it's necessary and needed and you need to hear it specifically, because you specifically came into our DMs trying to disrupt us, which is impossible for you to do. That's an impossibility. And I'm going to make time and take time today 
and get this cleared all the way out that we are adults, we are practicing Muslims. I don't know what your husband might practice or not practice, but if he's going to practice polygyny, then finding us is probably one of the best things he could do, not only for himself, but seemingly for you as well. So don't displace your anger on us that you have for him. If that's, if that's what it is, maybe the optics of seeing Coach Nadir happily married to two women bothers you. Maybe a healthy family bothers you. Maybe the fact that we're helping other families bothers you. But make sure before you come knocking or coming and racking up in our DMs that you know that we are going to return and respond to your mess and your madness. To your mess and your madness. Because you think you have some type of control or power over what we're going to do, whether the camera's on or off. We'll be in polygyny because we're all adults. We share a husband and my co-wife and I are not married to one another. We're not. So whatever way you want to try to spin it or whatever way you want to try to disrespect our family tries the key word here because you have no power here. But if you bitter, try to become better. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. That's what Jim Rohn said. And I love it because it's very liberating and freeing to become better and understand that one man should not hold your happiness and he can't make you happy. Clearly, clearly, that's your job. But don't come over to OPR and think that we won't return any kind of hate or fire, whatever you have for us. If you're going to come and sneak into our DMs, try to leave your mess instead of cleaning it up and try to dump it off on us as though we have any power to do anything within your marriage. Maybe it is you who is the issue and not your husband because it's not us. It is not us because we're very intentional about this work that we do. And I'm telling you that I'm not only speaking for the OPR team, but I'm speaking for the OPR family, which I belong to. And it's our tribe together because we have built it together. Establishment is important. Intentionality is important. Healthy communication is important. It is of value. And if you don't know how to communicate and if you're hurting and if you want to be upset and you want to be mad, you make sure you channel the right channels and tune in to OPR videos and you might find them beneficial. But don't come over to us and then try to do something and make it seem like, and oh, y'all joke. You the one going to be laughed at in the end, like I laughed at you in the beginning. Because what I don't care about is something that a hater has to say, because let me tell you something, you probably part of the most vast marketing team we have as far as hateful people go. You came over to here. We didn't seek you out. We didn't. One thing about men and polygyny is they have to become more. This ain't no joke. It ain't nothing to be played when we don't play in it. These are people's lives. These are our lives. And we give you a piece of that. A little piece of that. But if you want to become better, you can visit CoachFatima.com or CoachNyla.com or OutstandingPersonalRelationships.com or join the community where like-minded people will get you all the way together about trying to dim someone's light that's going to shine with or without anybody's consent. With or without anyone's consent because we've done the work and we're still working and we're humble. But I'll make time for you today, Zoe. I'll make time for you today because we're doing this work that we're supposed to do. And if your husband needs clarification about Islam, send him right on over. Because maybe he needs to make some ultimate decisions about marrying you versus the other way around. If you mad, you be mad because you can't shake us. Because let me tell you something, it's solid. It's solid. And we're not only family, we're tribal members. And if you come for one, You better know that the others will show up. 
We don't ask you to like us. We don't ask you to love us. You don't, we don't ask you to support us, Zoe. But what we do is love and support and honor each other as a family. And we don't need your unsolicited advice on anything. It appears as though you need ours because you took time out of your day away from your children to contact us, away from your marriage to contact us. Pay more attention to your marriage instead of ours. Do that first and foremost. And then you might not feel the need to privately message us and slither around and try to say things against us because you won't change us. You won't. You think you will. But we'll go on about our day and I'll have an incredible day regardless of you. And I'll love my husband regardless of you. And I'll be in support of my sister, wife, Coach Nyla, regardless of you. And the like for them towards me. Because again, we are family first. OPR is family first. And we have each other's backs. If you can't tell by the tone in my voice, you'll understand me if you're progressive enough to understand it. But don't think that you'll come over to here and we won't have something to say in return. So the joke is on you, honey, not on us. So I wanted to address that specific comment because she felt the need to get attention. She wanted attention with her children sitting with her in her profile picture. Instead of focusing that energy on your beloved children, you wanna come over by us. Well, let me tell you something about this channel. This is our playpen. This is our platform. And if you do not like it, you feel free to kick rocks or get educated. But if you want to make a mockery out of your marriage and make a mockery out of yours, don't come in here trying to make a mockery out of our family. Out of my marriage with Coach Nadir, out of Coach Nyla's marriage with Coach Nadir, because we place honor on it. We don't wait for you to try to place honor on it or sit up and support your dishonor. We don't. So I got time today. And that's all of my time that you gonna get. So with that being said, everyone, thank you to the people that are sitting there supporting OPR and sitting there supporting families that are trying to make a better way in polygyny and in, in, in monogamy because we're pro morals here. And I'll say it again. It has to be said, we are pro morals. And we're here to make these conversations and these lifestyles become easier so you don't have to go through some of the things that we have went through as a family, as individuals. So to get met with in the DMs, Zoe, whatever her name is, whatever she calls herself these days, whatever she hides behind. Because the thought was in your husband's mind already, but maybe he's in the right direction. So he'll know best practices for best results. And then he can contact Coach Nazir. So we want the people to know that if you love us, you support us, and you're here for the information, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for your support. And I speak for everyone in my tribe, in my family, within this platform. We thank you for your support. We really, really do. And your du'as, and your kind words, and your kind questions, if you don't understand, thank you for that. Because you don't have to come here and support us, and you don't have to be kind, but it is so appreciated that you are progressive enough to understand that we don't control somebody else's desires. What we're trying to do is offer clarification. So this does not have to be so difficult on families so families don't have to break up if they can avoid it at all costs because we all come from brokenness all three of us OPR is not about me coach Nadir or coach Nyla although we are the co-founders it is about spreading information to people so that they can come together and love each other on a deeper level and if Zoe don't understand that then that's on her because she don't want to 
And that is all I have to say about that. And she can be blocked and maybe not even blessed behind my words. So let us be careful and respectful. And in the comments, if you made it this long to the end of this video, please put respect Polly families in the comments, in the comments. And she need not waste her valuable time. I pray she's being productive in her day and not trying to disturb our day. Cause baby, the way we going to still continue as a family to love each other, support each other, support our husband, mother, our children, create books and do every other thing and create strong bonds with people. If they want to hear the information in their heart and in their mind and in their intention, that's what we're going to do. And we're going to continue to pray for one another. That's what we're going to continue to do. Right. So if I am passionate today, if I'm firm in my words today, more so than other days, it is because don't start none. Won't be none. Don't DM us and then try to give us hate. And you were so screwed up and scrambled by the time coach and I there got done clearing you out. All you could leave was a laugh emoji, but the joke is on you, boo boo. OK, so with that. I'm going to leave the loved ones, the supportive ones with a little GLC, but make sure. And she should probably buy the polygamy roadmap at polygamyroadmap.com for her husband. So he can make a righteous decision so he can make a choice. And if she wants to be educated, welcome. But if not, bye, goodbye, peace, deuces, whatever you want to call it. Adios. Okay. So, and Make sure you join our OPR community, oprcommunity.com. See, she didn't got on my nerves, y'all. And I'm thinking of my co-wife and I'm thinking of my family. I'm thinking of our husband. I am. Because polygyny does not just happen to one person, it happens to the family. But don't act like your marriage wasn't a train wreck before. Because of the words you use in your DM, you already mad. You already mad. If your husband is a grown man, understand that it ain't your job to raise him. It's not. Work with him. And if that don't work, work it out. Figure it out and make a decision. Might be the ultimate decision of divorce, but don't blame us. So with that being said, IG family, YouTube family, Facebook family, whoever can hear this message, make sure that you are growing intentionally loving fearlessly and connecting on a higher level every single day. Coach Fatima, I will see you guys in the next video. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. We are also the authors of the new ebook, The Polygamy Roadmap. roadmap. <laughs> Two different roadmaps, one specifically for men and the other for women. For women. <laughs> Naturally. So, no matter where somebody is in their journey, whether they're just considering it and what's required, especially um, men I'm talking to, I share the five requisites on really what it takes to build a healthy, successful polygynous family unit. So with that being said, make sure if you're a man and if you're serious, not just curious, you take action and get it today. And in the women's polygamy roadmap, we talk about the different feelings that women might go through with emotions of fear, challenge, betrayal, jealousy. Yes, and we give you some good insight as well as tips, anecdotes, as well as some of our stories um, of struggle in the polygamy roadmap too for women. And you will find out really how to have a type of confidence in yourself after reading this. I'm truly, truly in the mindset that you would anyway. <laughs> Indeed, so do what you gotta do. And that means go to polygamyroadmap.com, grab your copy. We look forward to you benefiting from it and joining us in our private community. With that being said, it's not like them. Peace. Peace.